Hey folks, I had a question from a, a fan about how to play the chords to this song. This is called I Was an Oak Tree. It's one of my better known songs, one of my most requested songs. And I play it in the key of E, and I'm capoed up to the fourth fret. So I play it like a C chord. I'm just going to walk you through something called the number system. If you know this, you can fast forward a little bit. So when I play the root chord of a piece, uh, of any song. That's called the one. And as you follow the scale numbers up, one, two, three, four, that's the four chord. One, two, three, four, five. G is the five chord of C. So F is the four chord of C. G is the five chord of C. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, A minor is the six chord of C. So no matter where you are with a capo, or if you play a B flat instrument, E flat instrument, instruments that are tuned differently, you can refer to the one chord, the four chord, the five chord, the six chord, the two chord, or even the third note of the scale. And no matter what key or tuning someone is in, they know what you're talking about once you learn that number system. In this case, I'm playing as if I'm playing in the key of C. That's the chord shape that I'm playing. That's my home chord. That's the one. But I'm capoed up, so I'm really in the key of E. You hear that's the same key. I've just played an open E chord, and I put the capo on. And it sounds like the same chord, but I'm playing it like a C. All right, now we've got that established. Um, this song begins with this little guitar riff that goes... So the riff that begins the song begins in the four. Four, one, five, six, five, four, one, five. Well, I was a four chord. It took a one to the five. And the four to the one to the five. A one to the five, four to the one to the five. Six, five. Four to the one, to the five, the six, five, four to the one, to the five, six, five, four, five. And I was a one chord, do it again. To the one, to the five, the four to the one, to the five, and the four to the one, to the five. Six, five, four to the one, to the five. Six, five, four to the one, to the five chord. The six, five, four to the five. And I just do variations of that progression throughout the song. When I get to the campfire verse, I go up to a higher version of those chords. It's still four, one, five. Uh, no, see, I was a campfire four chord, and the one to the five, and the four to the one to the five, da -da -da. back to the four to the one to the five, six, five, four to the one to the five, six, five, four to the one to the five, and the six, five. I just change my style of playing, but the chords are the same. So like when I say, um, now I'm an oak tree out along the wild Cape Fear. I'm, an, I'm a four chord. Out of one to the five. And the four to the one to the five. I'm just strumming now. And the four chord to the one chord to the five chord. And the six, five, four to the one to the five. Six, five. Actually, that's how I end the song. I end the song on the five chord. I never change the chord structure. Use that same beginning riff.
right? So now I'll talk about not the actual chords that I'm playing, but the names of the chords in relation to the capo. So if I'm holding a C chord form, that's an F chord form, that's a G chord form, that's an A chord form, and I'll speak of the chords in that way. Just know that it's not actually a C chord, it's an E chord, and you've capoed up to make it feel like a C chord. So let's start it again from the intro. It goes F, C, G, A minor, G, F, C, G. I was an F chord, long C to the G. An F to the C to the G Took the F chord to the C chord to the G And the A minor G to the F chord and the C chord and the G And the F A minor G F chord to the C chord to the G And the A minor G to the F to the G I was a F chord The C to the G F chord back to the C and the G. I took the F chord to the C chord to the G. And the E minor G to the F chord to the C chord to the G. And the A minor G. F chord to the C chord and the G. And the A minor G to the F chord and the G. Keep repeating that as I sing the verses. And then I do the intro for the outro. F. G, I'm oh, sorry, F, C, G, A minor, G, F, C, G. I hope that clears it up. If you have any other questions, leave me a comment, uh, send me a message. I'll always check my comments. And thanks so much for listening and for playing my music. It really means a lot to me. All right, bye-bye.